Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's close. Oh, fish fried rice, baby. Oh, yeah, Shh. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> What up? How you doing? I'm Justin. I'm Fish Camp family on Instagram. Oh. Just past this. Yeah. Let's see that little weed zone. But yeah, well, nice meeting you. Hey, dude. Yeah. Good luck out there. Yeah, bro. Welcome back, guys. Today it's another wild goose chase, but something really, really special. This video is brought to you by Quantum and the new Reliance series. Thank you guys for sending these out. We got quite a few of them. We're gonna do a giveaway on our Instagram. You can follow up here. We'll have those rules here shortly. But the goal today is to catch a halibut and test these out, put them to the test. We may or may not catch them, but uh, what's really special about these is they are in that $100 price point and it is a sealed reel. So you get value and hopefully, potentially, quality. So. We'll put these to the test. If you guys have been following the channel for a good amount of time, you know we put our gear through a bunch of harsh conditions. And if it can survive fishing with us, it can survive a lot. Let's just say that. So if you guys are interested in this, definitely stay tuned because we'll be using this in multiple sizes, targeting multiple species. So you guys can see how we do with it if it's worth that hundred and if there's anything else that you would like to know about it. But we're gonna get suited up. We're gonna hit the surf at long last. It's been so long since we hit the surf. Gosh, it's gonna be good. So stay tuned. Hopefully we get on some good fish and we will have a cook at the end. Again, if we catch a fish, we'll, we'll cook something up. The plan is to do some sort of fish fried rice. Right, Leroy? That's right ready to cook. Cook some more fish. Bring your A game. I'm ready. I got my A, B, and C game ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so our boy lost his phone. He said it's yellow, so hopefully we'll keep an eye out for it. Hit me up on Instagram. Keep it, yeah? Okay. Just a yellow and a yellow like banana joint. I was fishing all in that zone. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Hopefully we can find it. That'd be great. If it's yellow on this beach, we'd probably be hard to miss it. Leroy just said that there's a bunch of bait fish out here. Bait fish city. Let's go. So this Quantum Reliance, this one that I'm using right now is the 3500 series. It comes in at 10 ounces. Not to compare it to a really expensive one that's mag sealed or sealed, but the Van Stahl comes in at nine ounces. So it's somewhat comparable in terms of size and line capacity. But so far, it's performing pretty well. We'll see if we can catch something that <laughs> will put the drag to the test. So I'm just kind of pulsing it. Couple cranks, pausing, couple cranks, pausing. Give that fish a chance to see it all the way out it's probably like four feet deep so these baits run about two so it's not too far up for a halibut to come and get it but this is like perfect habitat for them peak low tide was actually like a negative one today and that was about 30 minutes ago so we're going to be fishing all incoming tide today so no slack tide today would have been nice but we'll see if we can get something on that incoming tide Oh, nice. Yeah. Justin, we found your phone, bro. There it is, my man. Found it. Where are you? Halibut. I might go with the sardine glow. Yep, old faithful. All right, switch to Old Faithful. Tried everything basically. Swim bait, mackerel pattern. Now going to the Old Faithful, sardine glow. Everything like sardines. Let's go. Whoa! 
Big old Corbina just swum off. Big. Wow. It's like the striped bass where like you're grinding, grinding, grinding. But that one bite should be a good one. I wonder what that guy's throwing. He's working it like a um a jerk bait? A jerk bait. No, 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 no. Huh? Twitch, twitch, pause? Like a, a, a soft plastic. Oh! oh. Got one. Got one. Edward's on. Got what are you? What are you? Oh no, he came off. It was a halibut. It was? Yeah. It was a halibut? Ah, it's hard to say if he was legal or not. He was short? Good. Yeah. Good. <laughs> no problem then. No. No? Short? And you know what's funny is I was already thinking of swapping out to like a drop shot, but I think I'm gonna stick with this now for sure. Man, it only took an hour and a half to get that one bite. And thank God. <laughs> Mario said that it looked short, so it doesn't hurt as bad. <laughs> we'll get the next one. I was trying to feel the head shakes to see if it was like a Corbina or something. Uh, you're hit again? Yeah, I got I got tagged again. It's turning on, baby. It's turning on. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Got him. Just try to keep good pressure on him. I want to bury that hook. Make sure that hook is buried. I like have my drag is on so tight. Four X strong hooks. Oh yeah. Come on. Be illegal. Be illegal. Be illegal. Oh, fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's close. Oh, fish fried rice, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, fish cool. fried rice. Woo -hoo! Oh, I think it is. It's close. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. It's yes. a lucky hat. <laughs> so we were grinding. It was probably an hour and a half full of grind and uh, missed one bite after switching to this. And uh, guys, we did it. <laughs> Stay tuned, catch and cook, but we're gonna fish some more. Oh, you got it? Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. It's like 24. 24? Yeah, easy. 20, almost 25. 24 and a half. Woo! <laughs> Mission accomplished. The front hook came out, but got him definitely in the mouth, but. Look at those chompers, guys. Again, thank you Quantum for sending out the Reliance. Put some 30 pound braid on it. Dunked it a couple times already. Nice California halibut. That's probably the same fish, bro. It's a beautiful fish. I was wrong. It was a legal one. That's a nice fish. Beautiful California halibut. Ooh, baby. You're gonna be delicious. There we go, guys. We're gonna eat today. <laughs> you saying, uh, thought you were just gonna have eggs and rice? Yeah, I was thinking uh, we're just gonna have eggs and rice, no fish, but the man himself pulled it together. Yeah, he, uh, he figured out what they wanted. Uh, as you saw, he missed one, popped right off, and then kept casting the same spot, and whammo, there we go. So we're gonna be fat and happy boys later on today. Yeah, we were just talking about it. Sometimes these wild goose chases that we go on, a lot of the times they don't pay off. But today it paid off handsomely and there's still a lot of fishing left to do. So we're gonna hit the water a bit more and 
If we catch something, you'll see it. If we don't, we'll see you back at the truck where we're gonna cook up that halibut. Leroy's on one. Another, another legal, come on. Leroy just got one right in front of him, he said. On that Kalisa nuclear pink. Woo! Yeah, he's a shorty. He's got another lure in his mouth. Another lure? Oh no, a fish. Oh, he has a fish in his mouth. Oh, he does. Whoa, okay. he's, he's throwing up a smelt. Oh, oh there. Whoa, whoa. Hey. Whoa. Wow. Throwing up all those smelt. Or all those grunion. Oh, he's eating grunion, bro. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Just threw them all up right now. Yep, yeah, those are grunion. That's sick. They're almost like the right size. Look at That's the lure right there. The grunion right there. Almost identical size. Getting back in the water. How was that? That was nice. And right in front of me, though, man. I couldn't believe it. You must have been just following it in. Yeah. That was sweet. Followed it in on a cast before. Right. And, and then kind of just waited. Right yeah. He probably bit like about easy 20 feet in front of me. <laughs> Get him back in. Yes. Oh, which way did he go? Right oh, here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Cool. Secret to good fried rice. <laughs> Poor man's fried rice. <laughs> it's because I'm lazy and I don't want to get all the other stuff. Gotta have a sharp knife. When Leroy sharpens his knife, you know what's going down. You definitely know what's going down. Like how level my cutting board is? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Here it comes. It's everything out at the same time. Yeah, that's why you should always let the fish get cold and ice before because it's see how gelatinous the meat is it's hard to fillet it's hard to fillet when, when the meat is that kind of like gelatinous that's why we get everything cold when we do it So some people will say and recommend to do the white side first. What's your take on that? Why do you do the top side first? I always do the top side first because it doesn't really matter because to me, the top is more round. So if you do the bottom first and you flip it over, it's still round, you know what I mean? Whereas, whereas the, the bottom part is always gonna be flat. You understand what I'm saying? So look at the fish. When we put this meat back on it, look how round his body is this way compared to the bottom, right? So if you do the bottom first and then flip them over, 
fish is going to be laying on a big hump, you know what I mean? It'll have a big old hump in it. I just like to take off the top first. It's easier for me. What else can you do, Leroy? That's about it, man. <laughs> Not very good for That's about it. Ass. What do you think? I can see you through there almost, Edward. <laughs> if you can see yourself through there, then, then that means you did a pretty good job. That's really good. Yeah, so. There's no more meat on that thing. No more meat. Wow. So you may be wondering, Edward, why don't you fillet your own fish <laughs> and cook it? You know, when you got a 30 year sushi chef <laughs> as a friend, it's so good to be able to watch all those years of skill developed and learn as much as possible. Of course it's possible, you know, to play, but definitely not at the level that Leroy does it. Right. And plus, who's gonna film it all, right? That's, that's the mental. This part right here is we keep this for sushi. This is the fin, this is the muscle for the fin. This is what moves the fins on the side. It's just the muscle, it's real firm. And Japanese people like that for sushi because it's real crunchy and chewy. We call that engawa. Is that like a prized fillet? Oh, that, that, that part is for sushi is like, uh -huh. that's the best part. So there's four of them. Yep. But the bottom is the biggest. What do you think about what you're witnessing? I'm pretty amazed. Leroy's a master. He just knows every, every muscle to cut in the right spot. Pretty awesome to see. Not gonna lie. You kind of scrape it, you don't slice it off, huh? No, you scrape it, because if you try to slice it, it'll just, you'll go right through it. So it's better to just kind of scrape it off the skin. See, your the knife angle is like... Yeah, you gotta get it, see how I just cut right through the skin on that one? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Once you find the angle, it just comes right off. The angle of the dangle? That's right. See that? Once you get the perfect angle, boom. It's off, man. Angled. Tequila lime rub. Butter. Butter fried rice. This is where smell of vision would be awesome, for sure. Last piece going on. This is what it's all about, guys. Coming out here with the boys, cooking up two things at once, enjoying the atmosphere. He's adding some of that, that seasoning to the eggs. Gosh, don't get any better than this. This is what we should all do. <laughs> get packed to stuff like this. Let it cook about two thirds of the way through, then flip it but we want that color on that side. So this is that Weber grill from our last episode, which was the leopard shark catch and cook. This thing gets pretty hot, it's super nice. We got it out of necessity, <laughs> but 
If you guys missed that episode, you guys should definitely go back and check it out. It was definitely a goodie. Yeah, that last video was awesome. That food was amazing as well. Chef Leroy was back at it, cooking it up on the little Weber. <laughs> and it was good. good. Just for tacos, I mean, that meat turned out amazing. So, good job, Leroy. Thanks, man. I don't normally eat shark, but that shark was good. I wouldn't mind catching another one. I wouldn't go crazy and catch one every week, but if we were to catch another one, probably in the next four or five months, that would be a good little cook. If you were to do fried rice at home and you had every ingredient that you wanted, what else would you add to that? Oh, I'd have some veggies in there, some like peas and carrots, that kind of thing. Um, Monica likes onion, but I don't, so I'd probably put onion in it and, uh, and probably shrimp and that kind of thing, depending on what kind. I used to, at our restaurant, we used to make a combination, chicken, shrimp, and beef, all three, and the fried rice. Lunch has been served. Here you go, Mario. Oh yeah. Let's give it a shot. Is it cooked all the way through? Yeah, it looks, yeah, like, it looks it. like it. It's okay if it's a little creamy. That's really good. Tequila lime. Not overpowering at all. Perfect, perfect flavoring there. That's really good. Everybody cut up the avocado, man. Mmm. Avocado. Avocado fan. Wow. Ready, Edward? That's good. Don't watch these episodes on an empty stomach. Two or three hours ago, was swimming around in the water. This guy was swimming around. Like Leroy said, about two hours ago. From swimming to plate in two hours. I'll try a piece of that fish first. Still steaming hot. The best way to consume it is fresh off the grill. Oh yeah. Mm. Shh. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> That is class A top notch. By the way, Leroy, right now he's working for the Ritz Carlton. No big deal, no big deal. He is kind of a big deal. He's highly sought after as a chef, so. Dang, he's good. He is good. Oh, yeah, tastes like fried rice. The seasoning is just right that. That. on the rice. Well. Oh. So Sorry, Mario. <laughs> Sorry, you're filming right now. Well, we need to just enjoy this hot. This that there's not much else that needs to be said, really. This definitely needs to be enjoyed because this halibut. We respect the fish. We are glad that it bit, and <laughs> it deserves to be enjoyed. But guys, you should try this. Um, quick, easy, at home. You can do it. You don't have to have all this stuff but it's just nice to be able to do it right next to the water that you caught it out of. Go on your own wild goose chase. Anything else you guys want to add? I'm eating. <laughs> it's good. I got nothing other than thank you Edward for catching it and thank you Leroy for preparing it. You guys are awesome. We'll see you guys on the next one. God, this is so good. <laughs> oh. I don't feel bad about turning you guys off. We'll see you guys on the next one. I need to pee, but I want to catch something. What a dilemma. Dang, Kalisa Sardine Glow, baby. I got to say, you're a great fisherman. Thanks. You really are. These things are so impressive for being the shape that they are and everything. 
They move real fast. That's crazy. All right, buddy. Go. Save that. <laughs> so we found out that Mario doesn't like avocado. Ugh. Those are disgusting. Actually, they're yucko. They're pretty bad. Look at Leroy over there. That's Leroy right there. <laughs> Look at Leroy. Oh, oh. Don't get in my waders. Did it get in your waders? No, it's almost there though. <laughs> oh no, it, it is right there. It's just right there. You have I'm literally. My, I'm on my tippy toes. You, <laughs> you literally have like four inches. <sighs> oh, so close. <laughs> we almost lost our chef. <laughs> don't feel like I'm contributing very much, but um, I'm here for moral support. You're the taste. You guys can do it. Edward did it. Leroy's doing it. Just a quality control taster here. <laughs> Real important job. Some might argue. <laughs> Some, many will argue. The most important job. I didn't eat all that. What are you guys going to do? <laughs> do you really have to... Really have to mow the lawn while we're doing this? Really? <laughs> Other than that, this day really couldn't have gotten any better. Well, no. No, don't go there. <laughs> Leave me out of this one. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you caught my phone, so I appreciate it. Oh, Mario, he thought it was you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, I'm so glad I said it. I was like, man, I'm gonna run back and tell them in case they see it, you know? And yeah. We wouldn't have known.